there YouTubers and I don't know if I should say travelers or weavers because this is going to be a combination video. Uh, this last weekend I was invited to come out to a historic site in central Wisconsin. It is the Point Bass historic site, um, B-A-S-S-E, and I asked them, do you, how do you pronounce that? Um, and they, the answer was, it depends on whether you speak English or French. So I'm going to call it Point Bass, but it might be Basse or something like that. I don't speak French. Suffice to say, it's a historic site on the Wisconsin River near Nakusa, Wisconsin. And this weekend they were having their sugar bush or their maple sugaring event, which is appropriate for the end of March. But the big reason that I was invited there is because they just obtained an antique um, barn loom. And they got it all put together and it was warped up, but no one out there has woven on it yet. So I was invited to come out there and try my hand at weaving on it and um, seeing if it's set up correctly and those kinds of things. So I wove, I don't know, about four or five inches worth of uh, a carpet warp header and then they had some uh, some rag, some ribbon of cloth about inch and a half wide and I put on about three feet worth of um, that as weft to begin doing some rag rugs for them and uh, a few of their people are going to take over and finish the projects that are on the loom but I thought I'd take just a short amount of time here to tell you about that. I will put a link to the Point Boss or Point Base um, website down below in the description. And I'm going to show you a few still pictures that I took around their site. And then there's about a minute and a half of me weaving on the antique loom. So that's it for this video. It's going to be short. Thanks a lot for watching. Here is the sign out in front of Point Bass, and if you pause the video now, you should be able to have time to read it. Before we go into the Waitley House to look at the loom, let's take a quick look at the fur trader's cabin at this site, both from the outside and from the inside. Now I'll just uh, show you a few still pictures of this fur trader's cabin. And here's a picture of the loom. Notice that it's all put together with wooden pegs so that it can be taken apart um, and transport it and then put back together at another site, which is really kind of interesting. All they have to do is leave the uh, warp rolled up on the um, front and back beams and through the uh, reed. Everything else comes apart. Two things to note in this picture. The bench is built in as part of the loom and it was designed for a person who is much shorter and much skinnier than I am. And I had a hard time getting in and out of that bench and sitting comfortably at the loom. They're planning on extending the bench supports to uh, make it more appropriate for a little bit taller person and a little bit heavier person um, than I am. Also note the broomstick, uh, the gray broomstick tied on the side. That's the brake for the back beam. Um, there's holes in a piece of wood back there that you shove the broomstick into and then tie it along the side of the loom um, because otherwise it just has no braking mechanism to uh, keep the back beam from unwinding. When you have volunteers, it builds up and when you don't, it has down and generally it's got to go with the flow. You get to find people that have interest. But, but to, I am so honored to, be, to have this gentleman here yeah. to come and help us. Finally, here is some cell phone video of me weaving on this antique loom. Uh, this loom was donated to Point Base uh, last fall and it was placed into the Wakeley House. Uh, since the arrival of the loom at the Wakeley House, 
I've been the first person to actually do any weaving on the loom. And um, I got to say, I had a, a real fun day going out to Point Base and meeting with uh, their volunteers and being able to weave on an antique loom. I enjoyed the day and I want to thank all the volunteer staff at the site for allowing me to spend time with them. As usual, if you like my videos, I would appreciate you subscribing to my channel. If you're already a subscriber, thanks a million. Until the next video comes around again, bye-bye.